Heavy cough. Three, two, one. Inside this lab at Florida Atlantic University, two engineering professors are measuring Heavy the power cough. of a cough. Three, two, one. Using a dummy, they fill its mouth with a mix of glycerin and water. Then, with a pump, force the dummy to cough. Then wait to see how far the droplets travel. They fill the air, visible with the green laser light, simulating what happens when we cough. It generates particles in, on the order of 10 to 20 microns, which is roughly close to what the smallest uh, droplet sizes are when we cough. Take note how quickly the simulated one, respiratory droplets two, spread. One. The droplets expelled traveled a distance of three feet almost immediately. Within five seconds, the droplets were at six feet, then nine feet in just about 10 seconds. Remember, nine feet is three feet beyond the recommended social distancing guidelines. It's already reaching roughly nine feet now. It's still moving farther slowly. The fog of droplets lingered in the air, but kept moving forward, taking just another 30 to 40 seconds to float another three feet. It's getting closer to 12 feet now. Yes, he said 12 feet. Over and over again, the simulated droplets blew past the six foot mark, often three, two, doubling that one. distance. Okay, it has passed three feet already, approaching six feet. And it looks like it has crossed six feet and now it has slowed down. Still. How long might they linger at 9 feet and 12 feet? So at, at 9 feet, uh, they, they could linger for, provided still air, 2 to 3 minutes. Okay. But the, it, the concentration is less than what it would be at, say, 6 feet by about a factor of 8. The professors say the droplets become less dense the further they travel, but they still hang in the air, still with the ability to carry disease. And watch this. Even when we put a simple mask on the dummy, particles still dispersed from the sides of the mask, though they didn't travel very far. Certainly, if you're not wearing a mask, you're supposed to cough into your elbow. But if you cough into your hand, this is what happens. Let's turn out the lights. I'll put my hand up against the mouth of this dummy and simulate a cough. You can see the droplets spray in all directions. They may not travel as far, maybe about three feet or so, but they spray everywhere. And they can linger in the air, possibly for as long as three minutes. Intensity of the cough matters, so we tested a gentle cough too. The lighter cough didn't go very far at all, about three feet. But the question remains, how close is too close? Do you think, based on what you've seen in your own lab, that six feet is enough for social distancing? Six feet is, is the minimum distance that you should keep. It seems that... But further is better. Further is better. 